Hello everybody, praise be to God, and welcome back to Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. So, today we are uh, finished with all the side quests that I wanted to do, so now we can go ahead and start working our way towards World 6. So, Frank, we said we should visit Don Pianta, so that's exactly what we're going to do. Also, in between last episode and this one, I grinded at the Pianta Parlor, and now I have over 200 Piantas. So that's pretty cool. Oh, hi there. The Francesca. Aw, oh, poor boss. The big man's been sick with loneliness ever since his daughter skedaddled. Our underboss Frankie is gone. The boss is in shambles. What's the syndicate to do? That scruffy gang of punk thieves is stealing jobs from us right and left. Hey, but enough about us and our stupid problems, huh? What can we do for yous? What? Tickets for Doritzius train around? For the XS Express? Whoa, you want tickets for that, Roland Weendine? Ooh, ain't nothing we can do about that. Yeah, us giving out tickets? That's rich! You gotta talk to the boss for that. Francesca. I just can't stand seeing the boss like this. If we just knew what those newlyweds was, we could take the boss to see him. You mean those Piantas? Oh, oh I'm sorry, this is, uh, this is, uh, Sid. You mean those Piantas, Frankie and Francesca? They were on Kill Hall Key! Who's on that what now? Repeat, what did you just say? Repeat that. You know what the young Miss Pianta is at? Really? No lie? I swear to you, if you're lying, I will turn you into confetti, so help me. Well, if that's where she is, why don't you bring her back here, huh? Be a pal. We'd go ourselves, but we can't leave the boss unprotected, you get me? Yeah, you bring us young Miss Francesca, and we'll do what we can to get you your train tickets. We got a deal or what? Deal! See? Now that's better. I knew once you understood our predicament you couldn't refuse. Don't screw this up. So it turns out we actually are going back to Kyo Hall Key. Which works out because I've got some ingredients I want to get. And I just realized that there are more recipes that I want to make. I can store four more items. You know what, forget that. I'm just going to sell some stuff. So I'm going to sell the Meteor Meal for one. That nets me a healthy profit. I'm going to sell the Heartful Cake, because I do not like using that. Alright, and I could sell the Thunder Rage as well. But I actually might use that. Yeah, we can't get a whole lot. Eh, that's good. Alright, I am going to withdraw... Coconut, or coconut. Do I have the fire flower still in here? Sorry, I guess we're not done with the side quests just yet. Yep, I have 250 free piantas now. Give me a cake mix, please. How much room do I have in my inventory? Oh, I still have another thing. Okay. Nope. I want to trade in my winnings. I am getting a maple syrup. Hello, ST. Mix my cake mix with a coconut. And we get Coco Candy! Candy made by ZST replenishes free HP and 15 FP. Actually, wait, nope. For 
first attack badge, please? No, doggone it. I actually just realized if we're going back to Keel Hall Key, we can actually do the last uh, favor. Or the last trouble request that we can and do. Sorry, I guess we are doing a few other side quests, but they're on the route, they're on the way to getting on the train, so it works out. Goom Goom, looking for a gal. I'm pretty happy living out here on Keel Hall Key, but there's one thing I miss. I need a girlfriend. Please come listen to my request. I'm in the storeroom deep in the cave on Kilal Key. So that's gonna be a bit of a trek, because he's deep within Pirate's Grotto. But there's not a whole lot we can do. Sorry. So if you want to come back to Kilal Key, just go up here and talk to Cortez. You go into Kilal Key, amigo? Yep. Excellent. Muy bueno. To see we go, amigo. Set sails. Destination, Keelhole Key. Thank you, matey. <laughs> now we can skip that whole sailing scene. And here we are. We're back! So first thing I'm going to do is go into this shop. Hey, Super Trims are actually fairly cheap. I'm going to buy a Fire Flower here, because they are half the price they are here than they are at Rogueport. I also got to make room for some more items. I've got to store four things. I'm going to store... Cocoa Candy... Zest Special... This cookie. I'm just gonna store up a ton of stuff, I think. Because there, now that we have cleared Keel Hall Key Chapter 5, there's actually another item that appears that you can collect that is needed for many recipes. I believe you hit this tree. Yep. You get a Keel Mango. Fruit found on Keel Hall Key replenishes 5 HP. So we're basically going to come back uh, and get three of those in total. Cool. Alright, so now we got to find Frankie. Oh, here they are. Oh, hey, it's Mario. How you been there, pal? We do something for you? What? The boss is sick? Oh, poor daddy! Oh no, and at a time like this. You see, I I just dropped the wedding ring Frankie gave me around here. I can't possibly leave until I find that ring, otherwise something may eat it. It must be somewhere between here and that skull rock. Listen for a sec, my fuzzy little coconut. Shouldn't we forget about that ring for now and check on the boss? How could you say that, Frankie? That ring was the symbol of our love! We have to find it! We have to! Or, maybe you just don't love me anymore, is that it? Of course I love you, my little bacon burger! None of your sweet talk now! You're gonna have to say you love me a hundred times! One hundred times?! If you love me, you have to say it, Frankie! Oh, come on now, babe! Of course I love you, my little short stack! Now please, let's go! No! You have to say it 99 more times, Frankie. Oh! Fine, you crazy dame. I love you. 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 Ten times. I love you. I love you. I love you. No joke. 100 text boxes of I love you. Oh, 
I love you. I love you. <sighs> there, I said it. Oh, Frankie, baby, you're such a silly Billy. <laughs> now, my little cream puff, let's find that ring right away. What do you say? Wow, you think these guys are gonna be all right looking for that thing on their own? Listen, Mario, we'd better play it safe and help them, don't you think? Yep. So we gotta find their wedding ring, and it's right next to the uh, entrance to Pirate's Grotto. Hi, putrid piranha. And there's the wedding ring! A pricey ring, the symbol of Frankie and Francesca's love. But we're not gonna hike all the way back there. Instead, what we're gonna do is go back into Pirate's Grotto to do the guy's trouble request. Alright, here we are. Here he is. Hey, thanks for taking on my trouble. All the way out here, too. I know it's far. I came out here to enjoy island life, but now that I'm here, I just feel lonely. There is no one to date. I mean, no one. I'm chatting up sea turtles here. So all I need you to do is introduce me to a nice girl. That's it. A girl, okay? I guess my type would be petite, younger than me, and pretty, not drop-dead hot. Yeah, cute little Goomba pal, gal would be just perfect. Please help me out. Please. Hey, how's it going? Did you happen to find a cute girl for... Whoa! Hey! You're petite just like I asked, but you're a Yoshi! This is all totally wrong! Remember what I told you? Introduce me to a cute Goomba gal. Now come on, I'm dying over here! Hey, take a long walk off a short period, dork! Who date you anyway? Wow! <laughs> Let's try Coops. Hey, how's it going? Did you have to find a cute girl for- Whoa! That is one attractive shell! But that makes you a Koopa of some kind. Not only that, but you're a dude. This is all wrong. Remember when I told you? Introduce me to a cute Goomba gal. Now come on, I'm dying over here. Wow, I am not feeling attractive right now. Eh? <laughs> huh? Hey, uh, did you happen to find- Whoa! Now that is a very glamorous woman indeed, but you're kind of old. And you're not even a Goomba! This is all wrong! Remember what I told you? Introduce me to a cute Goomba gal, come on! Well, I never! How rude! Go get your eyes checked, young man! I am a prize! I just realized, he didn't point out that Yoshi is a dude. Does that mean that Yoshi is... ambiguously gendered right now? Come on, you gotta admit, Vivian is cute. Hey, how's it going? Did you have to find a cute girl for- Whoa! You sure are cute! But, um, that whole goth shadow fiend is a bit... Creepy! There, I said it! This is all so very wrong. Remember what I told you? Come on! You're not really doing much to impress me either, bud. <laughs> yeah, how's it going? Uh, whoa! How very, um... What's wrong with you, huh? This is some crusty old dude! Do I look like I date old bob -oms? This is all wrong! This is all wrong! Well, you're hardly my type either, you young scallywag. Uh, did you happen to find cute? Whoa! Well, well, well. This is a cutie, oh yes. But you're some sort of rat. Close, but no Goomba. This is all so, so very wrong. Mmm, I'd stay out of dark alleys for a little while if I were you. Wow. Way to frighten him. Alright, let's give him Goombella. Hey, how's it going? Did you happen to find a cute gal for? Whoa! Yeah! Wow! Yow! She's cute! Really cute! And that ponytail! Man! Perfect, slam dunk man! Yes, sir, lamb, duh, unk. This may be a bit soon, but I have to confess my love to this girl. <laughs> uh, uh, hi. Do you believe in love at first sight, Angel? Because I do, you know, I do. And, uh, what are you trying to say? Just spit it out! I love you! I think I have loved you since I before I was born. Please, go out with me! Um, oh, jeepers, this is awkward. I, um, I'm going out with Mario! Honest, I'm sorry. You're really cute, though. <laughs> what? You have a boyfriend? Man, I've had enough of this. Peace! Oh, I didn't get the tattle on him, doggone it. Yikes, I feel like I did something totally brutal. Well, Mario, why don't you take this as a reward for dealing with that guy? And we get a couple's cake, food that slowly refills HP. You can't eat it alone. Now let's get moving. It's like a slow shroom, but for both you and your partner. It kinda stinks. But luckily, we actually need it for a recipe, so... 
Darn it, I was gonna tattle on him afterwards, I forgot he just fought out left. I'm gonna take this opportunity to show off Miss Mouse's special ability. So I'm gonna swap... Or hang on. So I got Quick Change Badge on, so I'm swapping to Miss Mouse. She's gonna use Kiss Thief to steal this guy's Super Shroom. So we gotta press A to stop the gauge after it passes OK and before it reaches the end. Oh shoot, I can't do that because he's made of fire. Oh well. Alright, showing off the Yoshi's final move. Stampede! We gotta alternatingly press L and R really quickly. And... <laughs> Love that move. Keep in mind, it rapidly damages one, so if they have any defense at all, or if they're flying in the air, that won't actually damage them. But it still looks cool anyways. And now we can finally give the wedding ring back to Frankie and Francesca. Here you go. Ah, that's it! That's my ring! You found it! Frankie, now we can go home to Daddy! We sure can, my little cheese and cracker. Let's go. Well, so anyway, we'll be down at the dock. Hurry back, please. Here we are. Okay, Mario. I think we're ready, pal. Yeah, we are. Let's go back to Rogueport. Oh, Daddy, please hang on until we get there. Actually, hang on. I, I need to tattle on Cortez here. That's Cortez, remember? The Dread Pirate Ghost feared by all? Rena Bell? Boy, hard to imagine someone that scary would like us, but he's just a big sweetie. Plus, he's like our taxi service between Rogueport and Kewal Key. I love him! <laughs> ah, re to return to report, Rogueport Amigo. <laughs> Very few people have described Cortez as being <laughs> uh, a big sweetie. See Daddy immediately! You got it, Francesca! <laughs> sure enough, they're just running like crazy. <laughs> and they disappear through that entrance gate. That's a very nice touch. Well, before we see the bots, it's time to make a lot of stuff. First up, turtley leaf and a keel mango. Sorry to keep you waiting, not entirely sure you'll like it, though. And we get a Koopa Bond, a dumpling made by Zest T, replenishes 15 FP. Next on the list, we're gonna do PG Peach, plus a Keel Mango. And we get a Fruit Parfait, a dessert made by ZST, replenishes 10 HP and 2 FP. Not great, but not terrible. Alright, next up we're going to do Coconut, plus Fire Flower. Wow, that's all I can say. I'm not sure why, but this is what came out. Whoa. Go on, take it, Stompy. And we get a coconut bomb, an explosive made by Zest T, throw it to attack an enemy. So this is the egg bomb and the coconut bomb. I wonder what would happen if we mix those two together. This is sure to have explosive results. Yep, no joke. Sorry to keep you waiting. This should be a nice dish. Really? <laughs> Go on, take it, Stompy. We get the Zest Dynamite. Blasting powder made by Zest T. Toss it to attack all foes. 
Yep, that happened. All right, now it's time for the weirdest one of all. We're going to do couple's cake plus poison shroom. Yeah, this is a weird recipe. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm not entirely sure you'll like this, but take it. We get Trial Stew. Amazing food made by ZST yields incredible results. Very vague. This is not a good item. Basically, I believe what happens is if you eat it, your HP and FP drops by half. But it refills your star meter. I am not a fan of that. I am probably going to sell it. Daddy, daddy, daddy! Wake up! Open your eyes! Boss! Francesca? I forget which voice I gave this guy. Daddy! Boss! Oh, my little Francesca, you came back for me. And you too, Frankie. Of course we did, Daddy! As soon as we heard you we were ill, we dropped everything and rushed back! Francesca, Frankie, I was wrong. I was a stubborn old man. Forgive me. I know I may regret saying this, but I want the two of you to stay here. With me! I can't bear to be away from you two crazy kids. I'm an old man now. I need peace. I guess the time has come for me to stop being so selfish, causing everyone trouble. Looks like even Don Pianta, the dawn of untimely death, can't escape the old age. The time has come, everyone. I'm gonna retire. You can't be Woo Boss! Boss, no! <laughs> no, it's time. I mean it. And I want you to be my successor, Frankie. What do you say, Frankie? As of today, you are the new head of the Pianta Syndicate. What? B but Boss, you still got it in you. You're a spring chicken. You don't gotta do this. And, I mean, me? Boss? No, you're the one, Frankie. I've been thinking that for a long time now. You'll do just fine, kid. I got a feeling about you. A good one. I want you to take care of Francesca and the rest of the syndicate. The way I did. BOSS! You, Mario. It looks like you've done yet another favor for me, kid. Yeah... About that, boss. Oh, this is gonna be just beautiful. I know it. What did you guys do? That's the voice I gave him. Well, uh, we kind of promised him something, boss. We told him we'd get him a ticket for the XS Express if he brought your daughter. Oh, <laughs> is that all? You had me worried for a second. Come on over here, Mario. How many do you want? One, two, ten? Help yourself. We get a train ticket. A ticket for the ritzy train to Poshley Heights. Whoa, yo. <laughs> you come back anytime you like. How about that? Well, now that I've retired, I'm gonna get out of here. Daddy! Boss! You're the boss now, Frankie. You got that? You, the boss. You do good now, Frankie. <laughs> He's gonna have fun at the parlor. <laughs> Frankie! We've got lots of work to do. And don't worry, I'll keep you in line. Sweet Bean, come on! Knock it off with the pet name nonsense, will you? Call me Francesca! Huh? F -f 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 francesca Yes! Or Miss Boss! Tee-hee-hee! <laughs> Under Boss! Oh, uh, I mean, Boss! You got our loyalty! We'll be by your side whenever you need us, Boss! Thank you so much, Mario, for everything! You're welcome here anytime! You're like a brother to me! You ain't bad, kiddo! Yeah, you ever think about joining up with the Syndicate? It's the life, kid. Uh, let's get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> now we can go to Poshley Heights! Awesome! Let's get that Six Crystal Star as quickly as we can. What do you say? <laughs> I heard that, my uglies. Set of the six crystal stars in Poshley Heights, is it? 
That's a rather nice piece of information. Thanks ever so. Hey, Beldum! Normally this is where I finally deal with you and that homely traitor Vivian. But something tells me that trying that alone might be unwise, so you live for now. Instead, I'll just beat you to Poshley Heights and get that crystal star before you do. <laughs> Mario, that hag means it. We gotta get to Poshley Heights before she does. Quick, to Rogueport Station. Okay, it does explicitly say she's a female. Okay. My bad. Well, before we go there, we have a um, little matter of a few more recipes to make. I know. <laughs> I know I'm making too many, but... I love cooking. I can't help it. All right. Super shroom. Maple syrup. We get a maple super. A dessert made by ST replenishes 10 HP and 10 FP. Alright, next up we're going to do Mushroom and Maple Syrup. And we get a Maple Shroom, a dessert made by ST replenishes 5 HP and 10 FP. Alright, now we're going to do Cake Mix, and our last Keel Mango. And we get Mango Delight, a dessert made by ST, replenishes 10 HP and fi uh, 3 FP. And now finally, we're going to do that Mango Delight we just made with our last Mystic Egg. Weird, I know. Some of these recipes are very weird and pretty much require a guide. But then again, same with the first Paper Mario. And we get a love pudding. A zest tea cake makes you invisible, electrified, or sleepy. Well, that can be good. For the most part, it really isn't, so I'm gonna sell this stuff. Alright, I'm going to sell... Aw, oh, that only sells for 10 coins, really? Trial stew sells for one coin. Never mind, I'm not selling that. Doggone it, are you serious? I thought trial stew sold for a ton. Well, I'm not going to eat the love pudding, so I might as well, I guess. I forgot I just have a mushroom stored here. Oh, really? I've got a lot of just dumb stuff I should use. Like Earthquake Mr. Softener. Yeah, I'll take these junk items. In worst case, I can always sell them. Ooh, I got an email. Who's it from? It's Boo, Mail. Are you Mario? Did this email... Did you get this email? Look, technology freaks me out, so if you're not Mario, please destroy this email, okay? But if you are, thanks for saving my captured friends. I figured I'd share a hot tip with you as thanks, so here it is. There's still lots of treasures in Creepy Steeple. Of course, knowing you, you've probably already found it all. Ugh, I'm so useless. Well, enjoy your not-so-useless adventure, the Creepy Steeple Boo. You can see he's hovering above the tube hole that you need to go into in order to get the cookbook. 
And yes, I believe I have found everything in Creepy Steeple, so... There. This train is bound for luxurious Poshley Heights. Will you be boarding today? Yes. Wonderful! If you don't mind, please allow me to check your ticket. Watch your step, please! All aboard! All aboard! Remember how we took a train in the first Paper Mario to reach the second world? Kind of similar. Except this time we're on the train for pretty much the entire chapter. Chapter... 6. Three days of excess. Mario's room. Wow, the Excess Express! This is so totally luxurious! The three days to Poshu Heights are just gonna fly by! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited! Oh. Huh? There's something on the floor! Was that there when we arrived? Don't go to Poshley Heights! Get off the train now, or a sticky, yummy doom awaits it. What a totally weird threat! You think Beldum has anything to do with it? Well, one way or the other, the note's appearance means the culprit's on the train. Oh, I hate frets! Let's get this nut job before they try anything. So, yep, Chapter 6, we are aboard this train for pretty much the whole thing. There's a dried shroom inside the drawer. Well, I don't want that. There's also a Shine Sprite back here. So this is a lot of people's favorite chapter. This is probably one of my least favorite chapters, just because it's a lot of backtracking, and it's kind of boring. Let's explore the train a bit, shall we? Star piece there. There's nothing here. Hmm, interesting. Not entirely sure who lives there. Guess we'll find out soon. Oh, hey, dude! Hey, hello there. You know, I used to dream of one day getting to ride on this train. And now I finally got a ticket! Dreams do come true! There are several gourmet food magazines here, and one of them is an issue devoted to the food of the Excess Express. There's a large photo of Seth Shimmy on the cover. His smile is just blinding. That's Hefty. <laughs> Wait, there's actually a toad called Hefty? Oh my gosh, no way. The gourmet toad. You think he goes more for quality or quantity? Yeah, he's definitely here for the food, not for the ride. It takes all sorts. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Ooh, green car. How come we didn't get in the green car? This is the coolest part. Well, hello there, you ducky, debonair dish of a man, you. You're smashing, dear. What's this? A witch? Well, people have certainly said that I'm possessed of an enchanting aura. But you're the first person to remark so boldly on my bewitching beauty, dear. Yeah, you remember her. She was in the glitz pit briefly. There's so there are giant mounds of cosmetics inside. Is that so? Hey, dude. Hey, guy. Yeah, you know this, but I'm the absurdly famous movie star Zip Toad. I'm gonna shoot this little multi-billion dollar art flick in Poshley Heights, yo. Oh, and, uh, I only sign autographs for cute chicks. Sorry about that, guy. There are several postcards and glossies featuring Zip Toad inside. That's so. I knew! Uh, I knew I knew him! That's Zip Toad, the movie star! Women go nuts for him! You know, he's hot and all, but he seems pretty stuck up about being famous. I guess all celebrities are kind of like that. It's too bad, because I kind of liked him. The door may not be opened while the train is in motion. Yeah, that's a good thing. Star piece there. Greetings! Welcome to the Excess Express! I'm what is called the Train Engineer. Our opulent journey to Pashu Heights will take approximately three days. And how do you find your accommodations? Are they not incredibly splendid? 
Our furnishings delight the eye, but the sway of our locomotive delights all else. So let's all hear it for the Excess Express. Huzzah! Huzzah! That's the true engineer of the Excess Express. Talk about a dream job for kids. But just saying you drive a train doesn't make you cool. You gotta love the job! I mean, we're talking about a train here. That's some serious responsibility. That is true. I don't really know what goes into driving a train, but it's probably not as simple as I think it is. Alright, I think that's all the time we have for today. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Car Farty. Tune in next time. We'll be continuing our exploration of the train and getting to the bottom of this mystery fret letter, I bet. We'll just have to wait and see. Hope to see you there. Have a great day, and God bless.